June 10th. There's this thing I gotta say about my brother, Diego, man. It cracks me up just thinking about it. Dude's got more girls than there is hours in a day. Trust me. Every time you turn around, he's got three or four hanging off his arm or following him around during lunch. And I'm not talking about no ugly chicks either. The finest ones in school, man. Don't matter what kind. He's got white girls, black girls, Mexican girls, Asian girls, whatever you could think of. When I first got to high school, I spent a lot of time trying to figure the shit out. For one thing, Diego's a good looking dude, alright? I'm not even gonna lie. He's a little lighter skinned and taller with bluer eyes than I got. He's thin, but with mad cuts and a smooth face. Another thing is that he talks in this super chill voice. One of his girls, Jamil, told me when Diego talks to women, it's like he's singing some love jam in their ear, even when he's just mentioning about something normal, like getting Mexican food at the spot or some random movie that just came out. But it's more than just Diego's voice, I think. It's also how he always knows exactly what to say. Like, imagine some Hiana's acting all mad because Diego forgot it was her birthday or he didn't call her all weekend, even though he swore to God he would. I've seen it a million times. The girl's got her arms crossed in the parking lot after school. She's frowning all pissed and refusing to look at him, leaning against her friend's souped-up civic and tapping her sandal on the asphalt. You'd probably think my bro is done, right? Well, you don't know Diego. He'll just smile calm, lean in on her all chill, and whisper something smooth in her ear. I'll be standing off to the side, watching old girl just melt like a popsicle man. She'll uncross her arms, start to smile a little. Maybe play punch Diego on the shoulder. And that's when I know it's all over, by the way. Whenever a girl play punches Diego, it's a wrap. Soon they'll be laughing and hugging on each other. And just before she hops in her girl's civic, she'll say, So you promise you're going to meet me at Maria's later, right? Don't play me this time, Diego. And Diego will hold his hands out, all innocent, and say, Of course I'm going to meet you there. You're my girl, ain't you? And her face will beam, and she'll blow Diego a kiss before slamming shut her door, and her and her girl will drive off, waving. Diego, man. But this is the part that gets me. He'll walk over all chill right after, right? Won't even mention what he just did. He'll talk about ball instead, or ask me what I think about moms only sleeping in the living room couch these days, or he'll see if I want to go fishing in the levee later. The dude won't even mention how in less than a minute's time he just got the finest white girl in Stockton to go from crossing her arms and frowning to blowing him dumbass kisses. Diego, man, my big bro. When I was a kid, I used to try to think how he did it, you know? What'd he say? How'd he say it? I used to copy his clothes style and how he did his hair. But after a while, I stopped, man. I realized that's just how it is for Diego. He's mad smooth like that. Like, he can see in a girl's head and know exactly what she's thinking without barely even trying. Girls just come to him. And the less he puts in, the more he gets out. It's the exact opposite of how you'd think, right? But I'm telling you. Nah, when it comes to girls, my brother's lounging on the inside. He's getting fanned down by the finest girls you could ever imagine. While the rest of us are sitting around outside in the hot Stockton sun, sweating our balls off. I swear, man, sometimes when I'm doing chores and thinking about my brother, I just sit there and crack up.